Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. This is episode 39, and today is November 9th, 2016, which means we're done voting for the year. I hope everybody went out there and did their part. Um, I have got a lot <laughs> to show you today. Just a moment. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I might as well get started. It's rather dreary out today, so I, it's kind of dark in here. I've got additional lights on, but I just feel like it's, especially this side, is still so dark. But that's not going to stop me. So, you know, I know last week I said I probably would be putting aside my milkweed for a little while. Because it's for me, and I felt like I should be working on other things. Well, it called me this week, a couple days ago. So I cast on the right front. And I've gotten that far on it. <laughs> but this is since I've been home last week. And, you know, like I said, I really wasn't going to be concentrating on this. Um, in case you forget, this is the way it's going to look when it's done. And this is by Carol Sunday. It's called Milkway, Milkweed. And as I, as I said, this is out of, um, or this is the right front of it. And this is made out of Ella Ray's Classic Heather. That's a pretty good representation of the color. I'm almost ready for another skein of yarn. So <sighs> that's yay. That's also a little scary. I don't know why. But anyways, on to the next thing. Yay, yay, yay. I've been enjoying that sweater. When I pick it up, it's very hard to put it down. I just love seeing how it comes along. Now, one of the things I, one of the many things that I need to be working on between now and Christmas is my hubby sweater. His Fisherman Gansey sweater. Remember, I'm making this one myself and it's out of my dandy green yarn. Well, before I left for Tahoe, I was there, so I've got this much of the sleeve done. And it's, you know, we've still got a ways to go. It's, you know, I wish that, I wish that it were going faster, but sleeves have a tendency to be a little slow for me. I don't know. I get bored with them, I suppose. And so I say, okay, I'll work this much, and then I stop. So it's not going as fast as I would like, but it's going. I may not get my son's sweater done for Christmas, so. So that's item number two that's on my needles. Now for my Diplodocus. I just started this since I've been home from Tahoe. So I believe, I don't think I had any of it going before. I might be wrong. I might have had a little bit started. It's getting to the point where I need to go to five needles now. Um, but I've got the tail done and I'm onto the body. And I say that because of this. I keep slipping stitches off these. So anyways, this is the Diplodocus, one of them. And this is my own yarn. Um, it's just for my grandchildren. I'm not going to make it again for sale because I wanted it to be something special for them. And the pattern came from Cute, Cute, or Cutest from Knit Picks. But it is a bulky weight yarn because I am making the biggest. There's three different sizes. That's why it's got the name Cute, Cute, or Cutest. Cute, cute or cutest. Um, and I decided to go with the biggest for both of them. And so <laughs> it takes me a little while, especially now that I'm to the body. It seems, you know, the, the tail, of course, goes really fast. But then you get to the body and it's kind of like, oh, my goodness, it takes forever to get around. And I'm not even to that point yet. I'm just basically started the body. But, hey, that's okay. I, I can't wait to see my grandkids' reactions when I give them to them. One of them is done. I keep wanting to say which one's which, but they get to choose when they get when they get out there, when the Diplodocus get out, Diplodocai get out there. Um, but I know it'll probably be my granddaughter who gets to choose because she's the older, oldest one. And then Tobias will get <laughs> whatever's left behind. I don't think he'll mind. They're both going to have jingle bells in them. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, I've got to find it. If you saw what I see right now, you would laugh because I just put everything on my desk in front of me. And uh, so I've got 
all my projects. I've got a lot of projects. Um, this is another chemo cap that I'm making. I decided to start going fingering weight yarn and this I don't really have a pattern that's written down or anything. It's just kind of my own and uh, I'm kind of improvising as I go along. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a frog in my I say I have a frog in my throat that takes me back, back to my granddaughter because I'd have to clear my throat out there a couple of times and she'd always say, frog? Throat? I said, yeah. I said, that's just what they call it when you have to clear your throat. And I had to open my mouth and show her to let her see if she could see the frog. Anyways, back to the hat. Um, this is from the Katja Belize. Um, this is Katja Belize yarn. And the colorway, they have numbers, is 315. But isn't that beautiful? And it is so soft. And so I actually got this on eBay and it came from um, the Netherlands, which I think I've mentioned to you before that that was special to me because I have family, I have ancestors that come from there. I'm looking at the label. No. Well, it came from Netherlands, but it, this is made in Spain. Cool. Uh, I should tell you a little bit about it. It's 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. But this would be nice for any, for the kids that might have chemo that are going through chemo that are out in warm areas because being a cotton, it will be, um, it will wick a little bit more and it will help keep them cooler. I hope I do hope my heart goes out to every child when I make one of those. Now I, I know I had these going last week because I started these when I was getting right before I left California. These are my son-in-law's socks. They're just a plain sock. But I did that because it's fun. it was funny. My granddaughter picked out the... Ooh, I had a mistake there. My granddaughter picked out this yarn. And at the th time, I thought, oh, for her father's going to say, she thinks I'm a gray person. But it stripes up so beautiful. The colorway is Eiffel. And isn't that gorgeous? I got that at the little yarn shop. The, um, in State Line, Utah. And that's just so gorgeous. I'm getting ready. It won't be long till I'll be doing the ribbing on that. No, nope, won't be long. So um, that was, I've got to look at the name of it. Misty Alpaca in the Eiffel colorway, like I said. And that's on size one needles. I almost always do my socks in size one. Let's see. Then... I already did the Diplodocus. So next, the last thing that's on my needles. Well, okay, I have one other thing, but I can't, I can't show you the pattern, but I can show you the yarn. Um, the amulet shawl. Before I left for California, I was here, and I've worked that much since then. And you can't, it's getting wider and wider, so you can't really see the whole width yet. But it's getting there. It is gorgeous. I'm going to love it. Although it's not for me. This is actually for my son's girlfriend. She wears a lot of shawls. And so I was so happy because when they started dating is when I made this. Just in case they'd still be together at Christmas. And it looks like they will be. So, And I thought, well, if they break up, I'll have a beautiful shawl. But they're talking marriage, so who knows? Anyways, it's the amulet shawl. And it was designed by Helen Stewart, and you use and you use a U.S. size six, six needles. I would take a cup, a sip of tea right now, but I don't have any made right now. And I I'm making this out of Knit Picks Troll Fingering Weight Yarn Herbal Wreath, and it's hand painted. And look at all the shades of green in there. Then, like I said, I have one thing. I can't show you the pattern, but I can show you the yarn because, as I've talked about before, this is my country Christmas yarn. And I am test. I am doing a pattern test for um, CC of Java Pearl Designs. And that's my country Christmas yarn. And I love how it's, how it's striping up. So that's it for what's on my needles. Now, what have I finished? Not a whole lot because I got too many things going. 
But I do have a chemo cap, and this was made out of the Katja Belize. This is colorway 310. And I'm thinking this will fit an older child, young teenager, something like that. But these, this was made using size two and size one and size two needles. And I love that color. love it. Then, as you know, I pattern test for CC <clears throat> from Java Pearl Designs and Geeky Girls Knits. And she had this, and it's just been released, so I can show it to you. It's the So Say We All Battlestar Galactica inspired socks. And this is by CC. And I know that this was Knit Picks yarn, but I do not remember which colorway it was. But I do love it. I'm, I I know that nitpicks don't have, but look at look at the design in that. And then there's like take it off the sock form, and I'll show you if I can show if I can get my hand in there. Um, find the right place. There we go. There's like little spaceship designs in there. <laughs> CC is so cool. I love I love her designs. Um, she does a lot of designs that are based on shows and things, and so I love doing those. And uh, she's a sweetheart of a lady, anyways. And she's from Edinburgh. But like I said, um, that's available on Ravelry under Java Pearl Designs. It's a so so say we all Battlestar Galactica inspired socks. Yes, and uh, CC, I love you. And I hope you get lots and lots of orders from that. Then I have one other finished object. It's not really an object, but I don't know if I've told you that my granddaughter and I have a continuing story that we that I started with her. And it started off with Princess Genevieve, and she was writing Loch Ness. And Loch Ness is a, or Nessie, is a special animal who can take you back in time and similar to the TARDIS in Doctor Who, take you back in time and take you to different places. Well, we decided to go to the land of castles, kind of medieval times. And while we were there, she wanted to go dragon hunting and she wanted to hunt for a pink and purple dragon named Penelope. And she would be found by water, water uh, mud puddles in a forest. So we did this and we found Penelope, the pink and purple dragon. Well, when I was there this last time, I was having her go through my, go through Ravelry and pick out some patterns of things she likes. And she loves, she really wants a pair of socks, a pair of mittens and a hat. So I made some Genevieve Penelope variegated yarn that I'm going to make her a hat and mittens out of. And then hopefully this week I'll be making some um, self-striping of the same colors, but it'll be self-striping. This is variegated. And you can see the pink in there and, and the blue and there's some black. Let's see, pink, blue, black, and purple. How could I forget purple? <laughs> And then I did it on a Stellina based yarn, so it'd be sparkly. I know she'll love that too. This will be available in the shop. I just haven't made any extras up yet. If you're interested, just contact me through Ravelry, um, through Naturally Kim's Knit, or um, on Napier's Knits. That'd probably be the best place. Napier's Knits, just leave me a note that you would love to have the Genevieve Penelope um, variegated yarn. And I'll make you up some. It's on fingering weight. And this is a wool and nylon. I don't remember the exact um, amounts. But it's wool and nylon. So soft. So pretty. And like I said, she's going to love this. I can't wait to start making those. But I've got to finish something else up first. When I get the self-striping done, I'll show that to you too. And then, I'll, like I said, um, as soon as it gets some made up, I'll put it in the store. Okay? Okay. Uh, and my store is Napier's Knits under Etsy. Let's see. What's been...
been making me happy? Well, we have our first winner. I know I was going to do this last week, but time got away from me. Our first winner in our Better to Give Knit Along. And I just used, I just numbered the items that are in her. And um, we had one through seven. And I put it in the random number generator. And for the first part of our giveaway, Marcy Darcy or Marissa, you win a, a a coupon code for a pair of for a pattern from Java Pearls Designs. So um, I will, yeah, I will just go ahead and send that to you um, through your Ravelry account whenever um, when I get done with here with this. I don't know why my mind isn't working right today. Shoo! So um, of course that makes me happy. I love being able to be the one to give things away. So now we'll just go on to a little bit of what I've been reading, watching, and listening to. Well, of course, I've been listening to um, Doctor Who a lot. Doctor Who. Yes, yes, I have been listening to Doctor Who, but that's not what I meant. Critical Role. And I've gone back and um, I'm back to about a year ago right now in the episodes I'm watching. But then in the newer ones, oh my goodness, so much excitement's been happening. It's just really something. And I decided I was going, I, I, you know, I read a lot of books for review and I am reading a book for review called A Little Sugar, A Lot of Love by Lynn B. Halton. Cute book. I really love it. It's not, um, it's not your typical romance. So many times I'll pick up, a, I'll review a book that's your typical romance, you know, boy meets girl, big fight, get back together. This isn't like that. And it's got me wondering, I know they're going to, who's going to end up together, but I don't know how it's going to happen yet. So it's, it's a cute book. It's called, um, a little, the little, I'm sorry, a little sugar, a lot of love by Lynn, Lynn B. Halton. And if you want information on it, it's in my show notes Then I'm also reading, oh, I read this before and I love this book. It's the little Paris bookshop by Nina George. Um, I did review it. It's under um, reading, writing, and so much more. If I remember, I'll put a link on my show notes because it's a very good book. And it centers around this little man and his bookshop. And he has a gift for finding the right book for the right person. Not necessarily the book the person was looking for, but it's the, but it's the right book for that person. And, oh... It just, I just, I love books that grab my heart. And you can tell that one did because I'm willing to read it again. So anyways, and then of course my daughter's blog, uh, she's put a lot of stuff on there from, um, about things that Genevieve and Tobias learned while we were out in Lake Tahoe. And plus um, what they've been learning since they've been home. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. It just amazes me the things that she can, she finds to do we ended up for our granddaughter's birthday we got her a telescope because she wanted to look at the stars because she watches ready jet go and sean has a telescope and i thought well if i'm going to get her something that she can look far away with we need to get her something that she can look up close with so we got a microscope too and she has loved putting things under her microscope and looking and seeing what they look like and both these things are from geo safari which when I was an educator, I, I loved bringing Geo Safari in my classroom. They could take a beating. The kids were learning without realizing it a lot of times. And it helps build that curiosity. And that's what this is doing with her. She is getting so curious about what she can see. What she can, we found a great big mush, a great big toadstool and we took it home and let her look underneath the microscope at it. And she's looked at leaves and pine needles. Oh, wonderful things. And I love seeing the pictures that my daughter puts in her blog talking about it. So anyways, that's beyond the schoolyard uh, dot blogspot dot com. And oh, it is so great. Now, um, I do still, I have, my shop is back open again. And so anybody who's interested on my blog, I put many of the colors, no, all the colors basically that I have in there. And I mentioned last week um, when my mother-in-law passed, 
she left a lot of glassware behind. I mean, china cups and things like that. I've got something over here I need to post, and that's why I keep looking. Um, so there's a lot of those posted there, too. So if you, I'm sorry if you have to look a little bit for the yarn. It is there. Um, but my father-in-law does not want the china cups and things anymore. For him, they're dust collectors. So if you know of anybody interested in china, um, I mean, they're one cup and one saucer. Of, of the place settings. They could check it out, see what they think. Anyways, okay, now we have a winner of our contest. So let me go over the rules of our contest because it's still going on till the end of December. So the beginning, I will close it. Um, I want to make sure I tell this right because, no, I'm sorry. It goes on through um, November 30th. That's when I'm going to close it on November 30th. My mind, I tell you. And on that day, we'll have the big um, drawings. Anyways, it's open to anybody who wants to knit, crochet, weave, sew, dye, anything that you plan on giving away, whether it's a gift or for charity, doesn't matter. If, if you want to, if you're going to make something and give it away, post it on there with a picture. And if you can, tell us a little bit about it because I get curious. When I see one of the patterns I like, it's like, ooh, where can I find that? Anyways, projects must be must not be started before October 1st. However, the peop, anybody who enters can also enter their object in other give or knit alongs or craft alongs as long as they meet everybody's qualifications. Um, the pot prizes I'm giving away one skein of Napier's Knits hand dyed yarn. I will probably let you guys choose which one. I'm also giving away this beautiful yarn, one skein of it. And if anybody knows of um, anybody who would like to give away prizes or donate something from Ravelry or something, um, have them contact me through Napier's Knits or through the, um, or through Naturally Kim's Knitting. And I will get back with them. I'm not gonna give my my address out over um over those things they have to contact me and then i will contact them with my address <clears throat> i do have one other thing i if i can bear giving it up i'll be giving it away but I'm, i don't have it right here with me anyways um when you complete an item just start a post in that thread with a photo of your with a photo of your finished object the thread is better to give Okay, and it's an under Ravelry is naturally Kim's knitting. Um, la, 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 la. Like I mentioned, you can give your finished object to any person or any charity, all your choice. However, to enter, you must be a member of Naturally Kim's Knitting podcast, podcast group on Ravelry in order to participate. If you're not a member, you're not qualified to win a prize. So I want you to win a prize. All you have to do is push join or be a member or whatever it is, and then put your finished object in, in the thread. And the thread will be locked on the morning of December 1st, and the winners will be drawn on the following podcast. So, yay. So excited. Um, I'm going to put, like I have been, where you can find me at the beginning of this podcast. Basically, I will tell you, um, on Ravelry and on Etsy, it's Napier's Knits. Not, no, wait a minute. Yeah, on Ravelry and Etsy, Napier's Knits. Then also on Ravelry and YouTube and Blogger and Facebook and WordPress. <laughs> it's Naturally Kim's Knitting. And then if you want to find me on Instagram, it's Knitting underscore Kim. So those are all my places you can find me. I hope you've been having a great week. I hope the sun comes out a little bit. Love you guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Um, love you. Hope you have a great week knitting. And have very few, if any, drop stitches. Bye-bye. <laughs>